Hello everyone, this is Sabrina Jean. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Subscribers, welcome back. So welcome to your general pick a card messages and themes for your immediate future. However immediate this shows up for you. So let's take a look at the players or what you might experience or what's coming into your life and how you can make the best of everything that you experience in your life. You have four different piles to choose from, or you can choose from the crystal as well. And you notice each cover card is different too. So there's a variety of ways that you can choose your message. Pile number one is a green calcite crystal. Pile two is a Herkimer diamond. Pile three is a smoky quartz. And pile number four is a purple fluoride. So your immediate future, who's in it, what's in it, what might you experience, and how can you make the best out of any situation? Pile number one. Hello, pile one. For those of you who chose the green calcite, I'm going to start your pile with a question. How do you define the quality of your life experiences? Curious minds want to know. If you want to answer that, feel free to do so in the comment section below. But let's just take a look at your immediate future, things coming in probably over the next few days or so. Who are the players um, and what is causing the quality of all of your experiences? We're starting with, of course, the Astrology Oracle. So, South Node meaning you were just probably released from some sort of burden, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Hopefully, you will not experience too much anxiety in your immediate future. Scorpio energy. Let's lay all of these out. Okay. Ninth house, spirituality, higher ideals, uh, opportunities to learn something new, anything new. Remember, these are general messages. So Uranus is going to bring you something unexpected. So if you're the kind of person who does not enjoy unexpected surprises, then uh, prepare yourself for something unexpected. It doesn't mean that it's bad. <laughs> it just means that life is happening to you. And uh, something unexpected might show up. For you this week. It really depends on the quality of your Uranus transit in your personal astrology. And maybe if Uranus transits in your ninth house, this would be, you know, an amazing thing, an amazing opportunity, unexpected, a spiritual opportunity, um, an opportunity to learn or educate yourself about something. Okay, and you also have Venus here. So, your immediate future should prove to be very enjoyable. Again, enjoyable depends on whether or not you're enjoying your life in the first place. But it's bringing in more things and people situations for you to enjoy. In general, right? This is a general group reading if you are interested in a more specific based on your astrology and birthday then. Feel free to request your own private transit oracle reading from myself. So your tarot cards. Ten of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. And the Sun. I really feel like your immediate future or this week ahead, the next few days. Let's keep it at next few days, right? Because energy situations are always transiting <clears throat> and changing, um, whether we're aware of it or not. But so this is you taking care of your normal responsibilities, doing your work, tending to your daily routine. Um, and so the energy is like personal fulfillment or however nine of pentacles feels for you. Okay, so what is coming in that maybe you are not expecting? Oh, maybe this is related to the Uranus card. Moon Maiden and New Beginnings. 
although this is a timeless reading, but we just had the full moon. However, I think something is going to be coming into your awareness in your immediate future um, about something new that will probably come in or open up in your life on the next new moon, uh, whenever this is. So check your calendar according to the date that you're watching this video. New opportunities to learn, grow, experience, enjoy. It's also a positive but unexpected change. The number 41 here resonates with the energy of five, which brings excitement and opportunities to travel even. Um, but the uncertainty that sometimes comes with the number five is probably due to Uranus bringing you something sudden and unexpected. But what will you be feeling or how will this feel for those of you who have the deep feels, who are connected to your feels or your emotional body, your aura, your chakras, that sort of thing. So it's going to feel like you're growing, you're expanding. Um, this is an amazing energy. It's like you're opening up to enjoy the fullness of your life. Or at least you're going to be presented with the opportunity to open up <laughs> your perspective and start enjoying the fullness of your experiences and experiencing fulfillment in your life. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. So I pulled a couple of more cards. Uh, this one from the healing deck or the herbal deck. What is the best thing you could do to improve your health and well-being now and in your immediate future? Okay, so you have the earthworm. No, don't eat earthworms, but I guess some people do eat earthworms. Ew, I wouldn't. Um, but clarity. So this... It's, if you notice here, oh, I love the fact that you've got this crystal. It might be a quartz point. It could be a Lemurian crystal. Um, but it's clear quartz. This is clarity. But what I see in this image here, what I'm thinking is as above and so below. And so this week, you should feel grounded or find some ways to ground your energy with the earth. Uh, and these are like grounding practices and even playing in the dirt or sitting in the dirt with your bare feet or your bare hands can also ground you. This will help you to feel more connected um, and stable and, well, comforted. But I'm thinking if you, if you make this a daily practice, right, to do a meditation in the dirt, this should bring you clarity. Whatever kind of clarity that you are seeking, it's totally up to you to choose your intention. Um, especially if you have an answer that you're looking for clarity for. This might even feel like a brand new energy um, that you've never felt before. Remember, it's all about the quality of your experience. I'm going to put the sun over here actually yeah I'm like I totally there let's go like this so Saturn is just you taking care of your responsibilities I feel like something deep with the Scorpio energy is going to come into your awareness but and maybe this is this deep awareness that's going to release any sort of expectations or something that may have previously caused you anxiety in the past I feel like your energy is shifting too, or you have the potential to rise above, bring in more optimism, um, joy, and personal fulfillment. And then lastly, the talisman oracle, one final word. Okay, so your word for the week or for the immediate future is mindfulness. So the more you can pay more attention to all of the things that nurture you the most.
uh, the more you are going to enjoy, well, everything that arises for you in your immediate future. I'm going to just put this here in the middle. So something new coming into your awareness, but it's something that you can also utilize, take advantage of. This is positive. It's helpful. Um, but totally unexpected <laughs> as well, right? All right, so this is the message I have about your immediate future. Let's look at the players. I almost forgot the players. So <clears throat> if there are people that you'll be interacting with or have anything to do with this immediate future, it would be Uranus, which is, of course, Aquarius. It could be Libra, which is Venus. It could be Scorpio. It might be Virgo. Um, these are the highlighted... Um, zodiac signs uh, in your immediate future. Again, it's your life. It's your moving. So, you know, try and make the most of it. And have an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed this video reading. If you did, please do click the like button. If you're interested in receiving your own personalized astro transit reading from myself, feel free to check out my links down below the video. Uh, in the meantime, if you chose another pile, then hey, I will see you over there. Bye for now. Hey there, pile number two. For those of you who were drawn to the Herkimer Diamond, let's yeah, let's show off the quality <laughs> of this amazing Herkimer. So, welcome to a new day. And what's in your immediate future? So let's put this over here. Do we want to read your cards backwards or opposite from what we did pile number one? Yeah, let's do that. Let's start with your activation. Ooh, nice. So opportunities to overcome your fear. In fact, fear is something that is just a product of the mind and overthinking. Although it can feel really real. Very real. Pfft. Yeah, it can feel very real. Um, but your immediate future, okay, it's something is releasing you from fear about, fear from something. Okay, so let's look at your health and well-being card. What can help you the most right now? Cup of tea. I love the fact, this kind of looks like a daisy, but it's making me think of, um, is it chrysanthemum tea? I love herbal tea. I have an apothecary of herbs in my cabinet. I make herbal tea every day. So in this case, it's, um, okay, reassessment and patience. But even taking time for tea time to just simply enjoy and relax will be very helpful and beneficial for you right now. Choose your own tea. Not all teas are created equally mind you coming from experience this is why i buy my herbs direct from an herbal farm uh, because of the quality uh, between one's purchase from a farm and the ones that we buy in the store is such a big difference okay so what should you be feeling this week okay so you're feeling courage this week and strength okay maybe this is what's like Overcoming fear or shadows. Um, courage. That's what's coming in that you're not expecting. Preparations are coming to fruition. So the netcaster, this is a very interesting card and image. I'm not going to go deep into this person's interpretations because we all have a different way that we interpret our life and our life experiences, don't we? But this is bringing in the energy of peace with the number 642. So your immediate future or right now, you're probably feeling like you need to prepare for something, but these so far are laying out opportunities for you um, to like slow down, relax, calm your mind um, and ground yourself for something that's coming in. Here, let's do the tarot next. Uh, this is the Astro Matrix, one of my newer decks. Okay, right. So peace and well-being. This is moving, you moving forward towards something better, peaceful, calmer waters. Um, the swords represent the mind. 
So you know that you are worthy and deserving of a more peaceful mind. Oh, wow. You have the fool. So you have new energy. This is a new zero point feel, which is, uh, it's not really an activation, but you can push your own reset button and claim a new zero point field from this moment of peace, confidence, clarity, truth, and calmness. I don't know. Something is preparing you. It's helping you to relax, let go of fear so that you can move forward. Um, when you bring yourself into the state of being and relaxation, you can claim this energy, whatever it is that you're feeling in the moment, you can set this as your new zero point field. Meaning when you do this ritual or intention for yourself, you are affirming um, that this peaceful, calm feeling is the basis um, from which all other experiences and situations arise. So if you exist in a state of calmness, beingness, and peace, then you're really only going to experience more of that in your daily reality. So you also have the star card. So something's coming in, right? The net caster, some sort of wish fulfillment. And I don't know if you've been wishing for this peace of mind or calmness or confidence. Um, maybe some of you are wishing for a cup of tea. <laughs> Remember, this is a general reading. So, you know, take what resonates and leave what does not. But I hope in the least you can utilize, you know, these ideas, messages, and remedies, you know, in the best way that work for you. So let's look at your players. I mean, this week, your immediate future, this could even be something that happens now and over the next few days. You're going to have the opportunity to push your own reset button or reset your life. Um, you know, your potentials. Okay, let's look at the Astro Matrix, of course. So there's Virgo energy here. I'm going to put this down here. Virgos are really good at, well, herbal remedies, healthy body, healthy mind. If you were born with Pluto in Virgo, then um, part of your generation's gift is to understand the connection between mind, body, and wellness. But I think from this, this place of being calm and peace of mind is also going to help you to like reanalyze or focus on something that you need to focus that is most important for you right now in your life. And maybe right now it is overcoming your fears, but fears of what? That is for you to choose. Okay. So Jupiter, nice. I'm going to put Jupiter over here, <laughs> right under the lamp. So Jupiter brings opportunities to learn, grow, and expand. And in your case, um, Jupiter is sending you blessings and good fortune this week. Fortune, you know, depending on what your life path experience requires. But I think that this is, it's what this feels like to me is going to be an experience that you are witnessing, that you are feeling, that you are embodying. <clears throat> and maybe in this peace and calmness, you are realizing some sort of wish or dream coming true or being fulfilled for you. In fact, you have the opportunity to watch as this wish is being fulfilled for yourself. Now I'm curious, what have you been wishing for? Jupiter is on your side right now. Okay, your faith, your tendencies. So this is like hopes, wishes, and prayers. The 12th house is more of like a subconscious energy. So this is something that is arising without you having to do anything about it. Your prayers are being answered. Prayers for peace. For courage. Wellness. Interesting how the same flower is in the tea. 
How weird is that? <laughs> okay, I just realized that. You also have... Okay, so Gemini, and this is like new information is coming in to explain um, something that you need to know. Or Gemini might be one of the players, or Gemini might be an... Okay, I'm trying to put that underneath. A transit in your personal astrology. But Gemini... Uh, is more about information and the receiving, uh, according to the interpretation of this reading anyway. What I really love about Oracle and Tarot cards is that the meanings of the cards and the energies can bring something new and something different based on the energy of the day. <clears throat> oh, here, let me put that there. And we have one more. Okay. Okay. So something that you've been wishing for, praying for, that you believe, and it has something to do with your resources. So whatever it is that you need to support yourself. So whatever it is that you need to receive, like a blessing, um, or it's more information. You have swords here as well, remember? But there's new information coming in for you in your immediate future. And this could be coming in through you know, your own personal awareness about yourself and your life and what you need. Um, to allow this new energy into your life. But what's also cool about this is that this information coming is also putting you in the perfect spot that you can put everything together to understand what you need or how to find the courage to move forward or how to you know, relax into peace and serenity. It's all about your your happiness, your emotional health, and your well-being over these next few days. And remember, these energies, these opportunities are always um, transitional. Meaning, you know, every day uh, brings in new potential for all of us. That helps us move forward on our life path with whatever it is that we're pursuing. In the bigger picture, and for some of you, this immediate, fe immediate future could be like dissolving any fears and bringing you hope and unconditional love and acceptance. With this wish that is being fulfilled for you. This is the best way I can interpret these messages for you right now. So again, if there are like other people that are the players, the actors that you interact with in your movie, which is your life and your life experiences, we have Aquarius here. We have Neptune, which could be Pisces. There's a lot of Aquarius here though. Um, and Virgo, the ability to analyze information um, and the ability also to manifest what it is that you do, in fact, need as far as your resources are concerned to maintain your health and well-being. So pile two, I hope you enjoyed these messages about your immediate future. If you did, please do click the like button. Feel free to share any comments or insights that you would like to share below as well. And have an awesome day. I'll see you in another video. Hello, pile three. For those of you who chose the smoky cords, although the light isn't like shining on it effectively, this is my smoky cords. Look at that. There's like layers and tiers and levels. It kind of looks like a ladder, doesn't it? Okay. It kind of makes me think of the Lemurian crystals. They have those things, the inclusions on the inside and the... Anyway, but it's a smoky quartz. Pile three. Okay, so what's happening in your immediate future? Okay. So allow me to enlighten you. So let's... We're going to start with... Here, let's read your pile differently than we did the other piles. Astro Matrix. Okay. The Empress... I think that's you. Ooh, the hanged one. Oh, look at this. You've got two threes. 33, 
might be a master number. And the Page of Cups. Huh. Hmm. So in general, this indicates you becoming aware of something, something new that you want to explore more deeply. So with cups here, this could be a personal gift or something that is new that has come into your life or brought into your awareness. And I don't know if this is a person. I feel like this is Pisces energy because you have Neptune here. You also have Venus. But you know what? At the time I'm recording this video, there are tons of planets in Pisces. I'm wondering what house they are transiting in your personal astrology transits right now. Because this is the area of your life that you're being invited to show more compassion and love uh, and support for others. It's definitely going to be an opportunity that presents itself. So let's look at your astrology oracle. Okay, so your highest ideals. Oh, okay, yeah. So you're going to be put on the spot. It's like a test. The hanged man allows you to experience some uh, like a particular perspective, um, which is going to allow you to choose based on your your highest ideals. What do you believe is the best thing that can happen for you this week? Or right now, over the next three days? Okay. Pluto is also a player. Let me put this here. Pluto is a deep planet. I'm not going to go into um, depth about that energy at the moment okay and the power of love well yeah that's what i was just talking about but this is you having the opportunity to get more creative using your heart and with the power of love and creativity based on your highest ideals okay your day-to-day -day goals the reality capricorn energy let me put that there Planets, Saturn, okay, maturity, I feel like you're leveling up in the least. And again, the, your immediate future, this is over the next few days or longer. Most of the readings that I do are for the present moment because in every present moment, there's so much that we have the ability to embrace and tap into and utilize these energies for the improvement or empowerment or whatever the case is for you. So taking responsibility, okay, let me fix this. Let's just look at all of your cards. Yes, let's, and then we'll wrap things. <laughs> okay, so what's coming in for you that you're possibly not expecting? Oh, interesting how this, okay, rising above the fray. The eagle, having the eagle eye. What are those? Is that like a... Oh, that's another eye. Interesting. <clears throat> Here. This is what's coming in or opening up. I think... I feel like this is your awareness of something. Of your perception. You can choose to become aware of this or choose to ignore everything in its entirety. It's totally up to you. But how is this going to make you feel? What are you going to experience? Oh. Okay. Abundance. Abundance is an energy of flow. Energy flows. Okay. Energy uh, flows in waves. They come in to bring you experiences that you can allow and um, embrace and accept. Um, but they're kind of like waves. They come in and then they go back out and they come in and they go back out. You put your smoky quartz right there on top of your foot. <laughs> okay, so health and well-being, what will be most helpful for you this week? I love the image on this card. So earth, peace, and grounding. You also have, I'm going to say this is a dove. 
Everything is rising up for you in your immediate future. Look at this. I love, oh my gosh. I don't care if that's a sunrise or a sunset. And I'm loving the lavender, earth, peace, grounding. But when I look at this, I'm also thinking as above, so below. As within, so without. Perhaps you can make this your declaration or affirmation for your week ahead. Because that does improve the quality of your experiences. But you have to speak that affirmation. It's not just something that you can think and then expect something to happen. It's the embodiment of the experience and opening up to the experiences, the feelings, the abundance. Hmm. So you could try grounding yourself with earth uh, remedies during the sunrise or during the sunset as well. Let's look at the um, talisman oracle. Okay. Wow. So you're being activated or new successes are being activated. Look at this. I'm like, <laughs> hi, there's my reflection in the card. I was like, wait, who is that? That's funny. I was waving. Yes, I'm wearing a pink shirt. So you are the star stars. Hmm. Okay. Your immediate future looks amazing, pile number three. You're already successful, but there are seeds that you have planted in the past that are now sprouting new growth, new life, new opportunities for you to experience success. If you open yourself up to explore and receive abundance, then you will be experiencing more levels of successes in so many ways that you could have never imagined. So that's what happens sometimes when we get stuck in our head and stuck in our mind and stuck in certain expectations. We limit our own selves with what we can experience. But this weekend right now, or at least over the next few days, choose to align yourself with your highest ideals. Allow the best experiences to show up. Allow yourself to have more success in your life based on your daily goals and your daily routines. Expect and allow new opportunities to come in or new gifts to be presented to you. Um, Pluto here is activating um, more internal personal power within you that you already have the capacity um, to become responsible for in your life in a mature way. So Saturn is also bringing you new things that you can embrace and become responsible for in your life to activate this abundance or activate the success. And most of all, it's really important to rise above, try and see the higher perspective, um, which makes perfect sense that the smoky quartz is here because smoky quartz pulls away. It absorbs the negativity, um, including negative emotions, sadness, grief, sorrow, all of that junk that, you know, you really don't want to have in your vibration anymore. So if you have a smoky quartz, maybe you can carry that one around with you for the next few days and allow it to protect you from the negativity of the world and anyone else that's around you, so that you can have this experience. Oh, this is going to be a truly amazing experience. Not only within the mind, but I think you're going to feel it more in the body, especially when you ground yourself, especially if you can put yourself in nature um, or near moving water. It's more about the quality of your experiences and the quality of the experiences of your deepest emotions which are empowering you right now, or at least that's why they are showing up. Okay, pile three, this is what I'm perceiving in your immediate future, at least over the next few days. I hope you enjoy this. Remember, this is just a general reading. You can choose 
to claim this experience now through these cards. But if you're curious about what other successes are available for you, or if you're seeking to understand the quality of life or what you're experiencing in your life based on your personal transits, then I invite you to request a personalized reading for me today. All my links for everything that I offer are down below this video, um, but this is going to be an amazing experience coming in for you. So again, you can accept this, claim this now, and then just pay attention, right? The hanged man is, is wanting to show you something. <laughs> Are you willing to dive into this perception? Hmm, curious minds want to know. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful week. Have a beautiful immediate future, pile number three. I hope you enjoyed this video reading. If you did, please do click the like button. And I will see you in another video. Bye for now. Hey there, pile number four. Welcome to your immediate future. So over the next few days, let's dig into your cards and your messages. For those of you who chose this purple fluorite, Okay, we will put purple fluorite there. So what's coming in? What should you expect? This is a, let's call this a comprehensive, but general, pick your card reading and messages. It's all about the quality of your experiences and experiencing the best quality of life. So Astrology Oracle, let's look at yours. Pile number four. By making the right connections, your ideas. Okay, so we have third house, eighth house, Libra, cooperation, decisions, the north node, wow. And, wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow, so there's like, okay. This has everything to do with providing you all the confidence that you need to anchor within yourself. Also, you're in alignment with your life path. You are learning or experiencing exactly what you are supposed to be right now. And Really, the quality of your experiences, especially in these next few days, most of the video readings that I do are for the present moment, for whenever you watch the video. But what's happening is what's coming into your awareness right now and over these next few days or however long this experience lasts for you, you're becoming more aware of who you truly are. You know, what's most important for you. You know, what kind of lifestyle do you want to live? But also at the same time, you still need to remember that, of course, you have to cooperate with the rest of the world or your family or, you know, your your work colleagues or the other people uh, within your household. But you're reclaiming your true power. But this is more like your intuitive knowing. It's not necessarily like an egoic kind of thing that, um, you know, makes you want to like take like control or power over other people no this is this is all about you so let's look at your tarot cards this is the astro matrix the knight of pentacles is you taking charge of your values what is best for you what do you value the most what do you need to feel good and powerful uh huh. I'm not surprised that the High Priestess is showing up here because you have the purple fluorite. So I know there's like something else going on here. I'm just going to put these like this. Uh, you have the ability to tap into your higher self, your own High Priestess. You are the High Priestess of your own life. It's just this energy, this mentality exists in a different um, reality or dimension than your 3D one. 
It's probably the best way I can describe that or explain it. Okay. And then there's two of swords. So what else do we need to know? What's coming in that's maybe not expected? Okay. This actually makes sense. So hoping that you have the time or the ability to create some quality time for yourself to remember, to return to yourself and remember what it is that you need the most for your own uh, vitality, your health and well-being, to embrace and enjoy the quality of life um, based on your beliefs, your values, what you need. But you also have the eighth house here. So you might be experiencing conflicts within your household or, you know, shared resources. Eighth house is also referring to um, how other people support you or what you're, what you're relying upon. Oh, okay. I think, I feel like there's a conflict of interest and a conflict in beliefs between yourself and those who are in your immediate surroundings. Um, but right now I feel like you're being presented with the opportunity to reclaim your own personal power. Again, it doesn't mean that you have to step on other people, but when you claim, reclaim your own personal power based on what you need, what you believe, what you value, because not everybody needs the same thing. Not everybody has the same lifestyle. Not everybody needs to eat the same kind of foods to be healthy. Not everybody has the same daydreams. Okay. So you have the potential to reclaim your power and your truth. And so you can always choose to cooperate with the others around you because, well, in some cases we have to, right? Your employer or your spouse or, you know, your community... But <clears throat> this energy is reminding you to reclaim your own power within so that you feel more confident within the workplace. You feel more confident within your home or your community. Instead of being stepped on, you know what I mean, or ruled by somebody else wanting to be a dictator or telling you that you should be doing this or you should be eating this or there's like a conflict in what you know you need to do and what others are telling you you're supposed to be doing. That's what I'm picking up on this reading. So what are you, what does this feel like? What are you going to be experiencing? Okay, of course, a conflict in, a conflict of values. For some people, it's it's triggering your innermost sensitivities. But you can release yourself from emotional triggers when you choose to rise above it and reclaim your power to release yourself from being triggered by these external forces. And I'm I'm saying this generally and lightly because it is something that you can choose to do. Um, there are emotional freedom techniques that work best for this. And a lot of the times when, like, if you're on a path or you're living with someone um, and you're trying to reclaim your power, especially if you're wanting to remove yourself from the situation or get away from it, to reclaim your power, sometimes the lesson that is at hand when we're experiencing this kind of situation um, it's reminding us that we have to reclaim our own power while we're in this experience because this is the reason why you're experiencing these triggers in the first place. It's challenging you to stand in your power or to release yourself from the triggers or to cut cords. Even with this, this challenge um, in your space, So this is actually describing the reason why you are having whatever personal experiences you are having in your life that are triggering you to move away or to get away or to escape. Um, it, but it's also bringing you the opportunities to reclaim your power so that you don't have to escape. 
You don't have to run away from whatever is challenging you or triggering you. So I'm surprised that the hangman is not showing up in your reading today, but you do have the power within you um, to release yourself from, from these triggers. You can reclaim your power. I'm not saying that it's easy. But I had to do it, and so if I could do it, so can you. Let's look at your other cards. So what is best for your health and well-being for right now? Okay, yeah, the watering cans, like nurture your feelings. But I love the imagery in these cards. So maybe taking time to take care of your plants or flowers um, or your herbal garden if you have one. Oh, look at this. Ask for help and share your burdens if you have someone to ask your to ask help from or if you have someone that you can share your burdens with uh, but this is all about tending to your emotional uh your your feelings and whatever it is that's triggering you there is always help nearby even if it is your higher self right if you create an empty space a sacred space to tune in Uh, nurture your health and your well-being, especially your mental well-being. You can reclaim your power and empower yourself exactly where you're at right now. Okay, so Talisman Oracle, what else do you need to know? Wow. This actually makes sense. So the tiger is probably your spirit animal at the moment. Um, this is the energy of you having the opportunity to reclaim becoming the, own, the leader of your own life the leader of your own health and well-being. It's time for you to fill up your own cup. Sometimes we're put in situations where we have to become responsible um, for pulling ourselves up out of any kind of situation that's been defeating or anything, you know, that's causing anguish and anxiety and that sort of thing in the life. Again, this is a general reading. In the bigger picture, what's happening for you, it's everything that is coming into your daily reality. If you choose to embrace your daily reality as an opportunity to reclaim your own personal power, your intuitive power. This is what's showing up for you now. Which is helping you um, to step into your personal power, to reclaim. Reclaim your your values, your beliefs, and do the things that you need to do for your own health and well-being. Um, they're helping you to claim leadership over your own self. And this is self-work, right? It's all about your first house. I'm not saying that this is a transit happening in your first house, but it could be. First house, eighth house, or third house in astrology. Um, but this is just general astrology oracle in your immediate future. I don't know what you might be faced. Maybe you're already being faced with a decision. You have to stand up for yourself, especially when nobody else is. You do have the power to do so. At least I believe in you. And, you know, if you do need help or someone that you can share your burdens with, well, that's why I'm here. Not asking you to share your burdens in the comment section, but I do offer guidance, energy healing, metaphysical coaching, even astrology coaching to help you to understand your experiences and why they're happening and how you can rise above them or work through them even. There's always help nearby. YouTube is amazing for that. So, you know, if there's something that you need help with, um... Here's something that you can try. Just sit in a quiet space. Ask for help. Ask your guides or your angels, whomever, higher power, for help or guidance. And then go on about the rest of your day. But then the next time you tune in to YouTube, pay attention to what recommendations are popping up in your feed. Most likely these are the answers to your prayers and your pleads for help. Try it. <laughs> you might be surprised. Um, but these next few days, your immediate future should feel absolutely empowering for you. This is the time to re-empower, reclaim your power. 
but without hurting other people, you know, without stepping on other people. Stay in your own lane. You can reclaim your own emotional well-being. So, Pile 4, I hope you enjoyed this video reading. If you did, please do click the like button. And have an awesome day. Have an awesome immediate future. And I will see you in another video. Bye for now.